Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on in, come on in. It is Mind Shift Sunday. Let's go, let's get it. Yes, yes, yes. Season two, baby. Let's go, let's go. Come on in, come on in. Make sure you got your tea or your coffee. Bring it on in, bring it on in. Let's go, bring the energy. Let's go, let's go. Masha Sunday, let's get it, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. I'm so excited to be back with you for Mind Shift Sunday, season two, episode three. And I'm finishing out part three of my VIP series, Victory in Progress. Do y'all hear me? Victory in Progress. Oh my goodness. I'm your host, Dr. Kerry. I'm a serial entrepreneur by way of real estate investing. I've been coined the professor of Airbnb. I'm a podcaster, motivational speaker, and author, but my life hasn't always looked the way it looks now. I've had to go through so many different things and overcome so many obstacles to be the person that is able to give back and give life to so many different people. And I'm excited to bring you this last episode of this amazing series called VIP, Victory in Progress. Y'all, let's go. The question of the day, I always get this confused. There we go. Will you knock? Will you knock? So if you've been with me since part one, all right, you've been holding it down with your girl, all right? We have been focused on Matthew 7 and 7. Okay, and Matthew 7 and 7, that is the scripture of the series. Okay, it is talking about ask and you will be given and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find knock and the door will be open to you. So we've talked about asking God, hey, God, can you meet my request? Can I go to you first? That's what he's saying. Go to me first. Then you seek. Right. And you will find. But you have to seek opportunities. You have to seek after his purpose for you. And I'm talking about in this series, some of us are skipping steps. We already went all the way to the knock phase when we were back on episode one of ask. Okay. So my question to you is, will you knock? All right. We're focusing on that today. Let's get into it. Make sure you share this live with whoever you feel needs this message. All right. And wants to be blessed today. All right. Make sure y'all drop in the chat some anchors if you are ready to get into this final episode. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. So knock. That is the very last thing that God is talking about in Matthew 7 and 7. We ask, we seek, and then we knock. So it's the last thing because, and this is all just how God has given it to me. All right. God has met your request at the ask. You started seeking after the right opportunity, right? Ask, seek, knock. Now we're at the knock. It's time to start knocking, y'all. It's time to start blowing down and knocking out these doors, y'all, because opportunities are waiting for you. You sought after them. Now the doors have to be open. God has met your request and the doors will be open. I'm looking this way because I'm looking at my door because I'm visualizing all these doors have that have opened up for me because I was able to get with him, because I was able to get in the will of God He opened up all these different doors. How can I be a serial entrepreneur if God didn't meet these requests? There was a time in my life where I was skipping steps and he had to sit me down. He had to sit me down. And I had to learn not just this scripture, but several other scriptures, how to apply them to my life. All right. So we're going into now it is time to knock. And y'all know I like to break it down a little bit for you to make it plain and make it simple. So make sure you have your journal or pen. So we're going into knock. All right. So know your worth. Know your worth. There are so many times in life that we are so focused on what other people have to say. Other people are telling us we're asking them, hey, what do you think about this idea? 
What do you think about this man or this woman for me? Why are you asking somebody else about your life, about the blessing that God is bringing to you? You need to know your own worth. And I remember a time in my life where I was so focused on what everybody else said about me. The people that were stabbing me in the back, the people that were being removed from my life. And I'm asking them, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? But instead, I didn't go to God first. That's what I should have done instead of going to man. Because people will always fail you. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to believe it or not, people will fail you. But God, he will not fail you. So if you know your worth and you know your worth in him, ma'am, you are unstoppable. You are unstoppable if you understand your worth in him. Man, that's powerful, y'all. Know your worth, know your value, and don't let anybody walk over you. Stop wasting all this time and procrastinating going after these opportunities. Go after it with everything in you. And then when you go after with everything in you, never give up. It's going to be hard to try to do things the way God wants you to do it. Because we have all these distractions from TV, from movies, from music, and everything telling us how we should look, telling us how much money we should have in our bank account, telling us what kind of house we should have. But instead, you got to focus on what God says, because God could bless you with a bigger house. He could bless you with a bigger business. He could bless you with a bigger car. He can bless you with a better relationship. But you're so focused on everything else around you. But you're not focused on what God wants for you. So know your work. Never give up, even if it gets hard, because it will get hard. Life is hard, y'all. Life isn't all rainbows and lollipops. I'm sorry. It's not. But when you know your worth and you keep pushing and you never give up, then you start to overcome obstacles. Now, when I'm thinking about obstacles, I'm thinking about the things I had to go through. Some of you know, and I'm not ashamed to, to talk about any of my story because I know it's going to bless somebody else. So I was molested when I was younger, right? I went through an abusive relationship and I just, I struggled with shame, with abandonment, with fear, with doubt. I wasn't full of peace. I wasn't full of joy. I wasn't full of fulfillment like I am now. I had to heal. I had to overcome a lot of obstacles in my life. I'm telling you, this life that I got now and the life that's coming, it can come for you too. You can have a life that is full of peace. You can have a life that's full of abundance, but you got to do the work. You got to overcome these obstacles. All right. And then the next thing, you got to commit to consistency. Some of us start stuff and then we immediately stop. We stop. We give up. One week in, we give up. One month in, we give up. We don't get it in 20 minutes. We give up. This microwave society that has been in the atmosphere for years and years, all this social media stuff, it makes people want to give up too quickly. But when you are in the will of God, when you have asked, when you have sought, and you start to knock and go after these opportunities, you have to make sure you remain consistent. You have to commit to the consistency on good days, on bad days, on up days, on down days. When your spouse ain't doing right, when your friends are talking about you, whatever it is, which those probably aren't your friends, you got to commit to the consistency. When the money's not in your bank account that you think needs to be in there, be more consistent. Double down. Hustle a little bit more, okay? And then the last thing is keep knocking. Keep knocking. Keep going after every opportunity that you can that is within what your purpose is, that is in what you're passionate about, that is within the will of God. Keep on knocking after those opportunities, not the opportunities that your friends are doing, not the opportunities that only bring you the money because you're not going to be fulfilled if you're just chasing money. If you chase your purpose, the money is a byproduct of that. The money is a byproduct of you chasing your purpose. See, you were purposely placed here. I don't know if you understand that, but you were purposely placed on earth. You were purposely brought into this world. 
Can y'all sit with that? Can y'all sit with that? You were purposely placed. Hmm. When I think of that, and I think about all the things that I've gone through and all the things that I see, people are lost and they don't understand that they were purposely placed for a per- like some purpose, something that they were supposed to fulfill through God's will. But some of y'all want to give up. You don't want to keep knocking. You, wanna, you don't want to know your work. You want to give up. But you got to keep pushing. You got to keep knocking. And I'm telling you, things will start to change once you get that foundation and you move through these phases and you ask, you seek, and then you knock. Child, DM me. If you have my phone number, call me and let me know how your life has changed because you were purposely placed. But y'all already know, I got a challenge for you. I got a challenge. So my challenge to you, as we close out season two, episode three of the VIP series, Victory in Progress. We're going higher, y'all. We're we're, we're asking for more. We're believing for greater. We're blowing, God's going to blow your minds. Once Once you break that mind shift, once you start elevating your mindset, God's going to blow your mind. All the things that I'm looking at on my two vision boards, y'all, God can blow your mind, but your belief level has to increase. Your faith has to increase. So I'm challenging you today. I need you to ask God, God, what is it that I'm supposed to do on this earth? What is it that you, you want me to seek after? That's what I want you to focus on is what is it that God wants you to do? Then I want you, once he meets that request and he gives that to you, go after the different opportunities that are waiting for you. Seek. Seek his will and go after the opportunities for you. And then I want you to keep on knocking. (laughs) I want you to keep on knocking. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep knocking. Keep knocking down all the doors. If somebody closes the door, go open up another one. Go build another one. Go after it with everything in you. Because I'm telling you, when you knock and you're breaking down doors and you're breaking down barriers and you're pulling off these layers from your life and you start to have more peace and you start to have more joy and you wake up more fulfilled and more grateful, child, your life is changed. And you'll look back over all the years of feeling abandoned, of feeling ashamed, of feeling like you don't matter, of feeling like you're not worthy enough and not valuable enough, but you were perfectly placed. You are precious. You are precious. You are precious. Because God puts you here to, to go out, to build his kingdom, to create a beautiful life so that when we get into heaven the feelings you had on earth are going to be amplified even more Woo! i feel that the life you have on earth if you seek after him the life in heaven is going to be even better y'all even better so stop worrying about things that don't really matter stop worrying about those people that don't understand your vision and your ideas Don't worry about people not supporting you. God gave you that idea. He's going to give you the people. He's going to give you the finances. He's going to give you every single thing that you need to fulfill his will. It was already placed in you. All it is for us is we got to activate it. So let's activate today. Let's go after everything that God said we can have. Can we commit to that? Drop a three in the chat if you can commit to going after what God says you were purposely placed for. Drop some threes in the chat. Let's go. Fire it up. And let's get through this. Ask, seek, knock as you move throughout your life and towards your true purpose. That's the commitment today. That's what I'm challenging you to do. If I can do it, someone that was broken, Someone that was taken advantage of. 
someone that had knives just all up in my back, y'all. If I can do it, so can you. If I can do it, so can you. So my question is, will you knock? Will you knock? Will you go after your true purpose? Let's go. Let's get it. Let's be committed to that today and every day moving forward. If you need help, go to God. Pray. Meditate. Give back to yourself. And watch God start to shift your spirit. Watch God start to shift your mindset. Watch God start to shift the people around you. Watch God start to shift different opportunities. He's going to shift some away, but he's going he's gonna to bring you some. He's going to shift them right to you. But until you change, until you elevate, until you get that right foundation, you're not going nowhere, y'all. Some of you are stuck, but it's not too late to go after your true purpose. So go, go, go. Ask, seek, knock. Go after your true purpose with everything in you, with everything in you. Can we commit to that? Can we commit to that? Hmm. You were purposely placed. So let's get into prayer. And we're going to end up season two, episode three, the VIP victory in progress. Turn that down a little bit. All right. Let's get into this prayer, y'all. God, you are so amazing. You are the author of my life. I need you to continue to order my steps. Help me to press forward in life towards my dreams and goals. I need you to walk, talk, and guide me daily. Whew. Lift all the layers and baggage off of me and pro provide me with a new way of living life. Whew. Lift the layers and the baggage off of me and provide me with a new way of living life. Provide me with the tools that I need in order to equip me on my journey. Thank you, Lord, for your strength, your grace, and your mercy. I love you forever and always for being you and for always being on time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, if you listened to that prayer with me, if you bowed your head, whatever, type amen in the chat. Type amen in the chat. Type amen in the chat. Let's go. Let's get it. Y'all make sure y'all stay anchored with your girl on Instagram at Dr. Underscore Carrie or my YouTube channel. You can have it all. I will not be here next Sunday, but I am coming back the Sunday after with a new message in a new series called Purposely Placed. Y'all see I had added that in there at the end because I need you to understand you were purposely placed for a better, better world, a better dream, a better vision, a better purpose. God put, put you here for a reason. So we are talking about purposely placed. I'm going to bring on a guest who's going to help me deliver this message for y'all. All right. Now, I'm not going to be here next Sunday. So if you do need another word, go on to my YouTube page. You can click the link in my bio. And you can watch old episodes from last year from, you know, if you missed the, the first two episodes, you could do that too. So click the link in my bio, subscribe to You Can Have It All. Make sure you go follow Dr. Underscore Carrie on Instagram. But yeah, this is a podcast. You can also listen to it on Spotify, Apple, Google. And then, like I said before, on YouTube, I'm your girl, Dr. Carrie. This is the Mind Shift Sunday show where I give you a scripture. I give you a word that God just flows through me. And then we close out in prayer, but it's all to give you encouragement to keep on pushing, to keep on fighting in a world that is set up against us, a world that is set up against us. So keep pushing, go after everything that God says you can have. Knock, knock, knock. Let's go, y'all. Now let's get into these comments.
before I roll out of here, but this episode will be uploaded to YouTube. So y'all check it out later if you need to. Let's get into these comments. Who we got out here? Great morning. What is up? <laughs> Come on, anchors. Bring the anchors, baby. Yes. Come on, hubby. That's my husband, y'all. Oh, glory. Let's go. What is up, Crystal? Good morning. Good morning. Let's see. What you got, T? He already has just launched my catering business. Yes. Come on. Get booked. Get booked, baby. I see the threes in the chat. I appreciate y'all lighting up these comments. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then if you prayed that prayer, amen. 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 I love it. What is up, Stacy? Hello, everybody out there. Amen. 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 I love it. I love it. Thank y'all so much for staying tuned with me. I'm your girl, Dr. Carrie, the host of the Mind Shift Sunday show and More Than the Bag. So if you want another podcast to listen to, you can listen to More Than a Bag. It's also on Apple, Google, um, but it's not on YouTube. Okay. Love y'all so much. I will not see y'all next Sunday, but the Sunday after with my new series, Perfectly Placed. Let's go. Let's get it. Share this message out with your family and your friends that really need a word. Love y'all. Y'all have an amazing Sunday. Bye.